What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. I uh, wanted to do a little bit of a different video today and show you where I work and a cool project that I'm working on that relates to my channel. Uh, this is my office. I am the director of IT for a company uh, in Oklahoma. Nothing special or out of the ordinary. Uh, but I am working on a solar project right now. Uh, basically what we have is we have a, uh, a yard facility where we park all of our trucks and our equipment and have our mechanics and everything working out there. And it's, it's a, a semi-rural uh, facility. <clears throat> um, and we, need, we have cameras uh, that we are going to be installing around the facility. And one of them is... A, you know, a good 200 yards from any power, um, any power uh, drop. So I'm going to be using a solar panel to power one of the cameras. Um, here I've got a little bit of a sketch of, of what I'm doing. There's going to be a, a pole, like a four inch pole, pretty big, big and heavy duty. Uh, at the top, I'm going to have my solar panel, um, Underneath, I'm going to have the camera pointed at our front gate, and then I've got an enclosure, uh, a weatherproof uh, NEMA 3R enclosure that I'm going to have the battery and all the electronics in, and then underneath it, there's going to be a Wi-Fi device that's going to um, project the, uh, the signal for the camera over to our network at our building. So it's a pretty cool application. Uh, I've got a 100 watt solar panel here um, that I'm gonna be using. It's a grape solar uh, panel that I've shown in other videos. Uh, this one, uh, you know, I have one at home that I've shown and then I've got this one <clears throat> um, for this purpose. Uh, I'm gonna be using a pole mount uh, by Renogy. This is a pretty decent um, unit. Pretty, gets pretty good reviews online and it's, it was a pretty decent price. I think it was 50 or 60 bucks. Uh, that's going to be what um, mounts to the side of the pole and then um, mounts to the solar panel at an angle to to provide that security there. Um, got a battery. It's a deep cycle battery for RV purposes. So <clears throat> you know good trade-off of value to utility there uh, it was under a hundred dollars various wiring uh, i do have the charge controller it's actually in the enclosure and i'll show you that um, but i bought um, a crimper tool for for these mc4 connectors because i'm going to be i need this to be connected properly in, in the right way uh, I've, I've done MC4 connectors without it and, and they're kind of hard to do so I bought this this crimper tool um, that'll help me out quite a bit. Um, what else? <clears throat> Just various goodies. I'm going to have, <clears throat> as you can see back up here on the diagram, um, the panel, this is the wi my wiring diagram, sorry I'm not an electrical engineer, but um, we're going to have the MC4 connection right there like I s talked about come off the back of the panel, connect via MC4 connectors, and then another uh, <clears throat> wire will go into the charge controller. Uh, this will be 10, 10 gauge. Um, then we'll have 10 gauge wire um, to the battery, and there will be a disconnect on one of the terminals there on the battery. Um, off the other side of the charge controller on the, the uh, load side will be 10 gauge and to a breaker and then it splits uh, into 12 gauge to go to the power over ethernet injectors um, which will provide power to the the Wi-Fi device and also to the camera so that's how the the camera and the Wi-Fi device which are the two loads that's how they get their power I've got um, a 12 volt to 48 volt power over ethernet injector um, so it'll convert the 12 volt DC power that's produced by the solar into 48 volt um, power which is what the the camera and the Wi-Fi uses and here we have the enclosure um, like I said this is a NEMA 3R enclosure which means that it is waterproof weatherproof um, this will this will be vertical so this is the top of the enclosure 
and this is the bottom and there is a um, adapter or mount on the back that will attach to the the four inch pole um, and it's four inch diameter pole it'll be about 10 or 12 feet tall um, so as you can see the door has a gasket on it um, to prevent water from coming in so definitely obviously don't want water to mix with your solar project but um, and I can't really set this up because it's kind of lopsided uh, heavy and it'll fall over but this is the bottom this is where the, the battery will sit uh, on top of this little shelf and here we've got our charge controller this is a Morningstar Sunsaver 10 um, so it's a 12 volt 10 amp charger already got everything wired up and with the length of wire that I need. Um, here's the two power over ethernet injectors. So if you're not familiar with that, basically what that does is it adds power to a typical um, network cable. Um, such as this. <clears throat> so there's there's a port on the side here and you plug in just a normal cat5 or cat6 cable to it and it will inject power which means it will it will make this not only a, a data cable but also a power cable so it will transmit power to the um, the camera and the Wi-Fi device now this is a, a disconnect that I bought this is a <clears throat> midnight solar um, unit and I just got it because it can mount to this DIN rail um, and it was fairly cheap I didn't want to buy a really expensive like Blue Sea system one for 50 bucks or whatever this was a lot more affordable and easily mountable <clears throat> so there you have it um, just wanted to kind of show off a cool little project I'll do a follow-up video when I get it done to show you how it works and everything but it was just kind of fun to be able to use the solar that I play with as a hobby at home it's kind of cool to use it at in an application at work thanks for watching guys